it's me, Facebook, and I'm back with another review, and it is a Wheeljack. And oh man, as a G1er, how can you not love Wheeljack? And me, I'm a G1er, so Wheeljack is one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. So right here, I've been waiting for this figure since it was announced, so now I is happy. Right here. I could eat the box right now. I could just say, it's not shiny good and eat the box. But I won't do that because I like to eat the toy. So, um, yeah, let's just look at it. And it's a Lancia Stratos Turbo. And I remember Stratos. He was one of the He-Mans. Yeah, he was the bird guy. Yeah, so uh, right there we have MP20. It says Cybertron Mechanical Engineer down there. And yep, there's Lancia logo and a Tagaric Tomy. So, uh, Hannigans, let's just show the box so we can open it up and I can eat it. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, we tilt it down and there you go. You just see the logo there, Transformers Masterpiece, MP20. And everything I just said, yeah, right there. And we'll get the side here where we see, wow, look, there's a nice picture of Wheeljack. Then we're going to go and the other side, Hannigans. All right, right like that. And there you see the Lancia. And if we show the bottom, we see a lot of Japanesey. And there is a Taiwanesey sticker on it. So right there. And then we'll just go to the back. Wow. And in the back, it shows all kinds of Taiwanesey, Taiwanesey, no, Japanesey stuff. And yeah, it shows the car. It shows him with MP10. And, uh, yeah, and all the stuff that come with it. So, really, this is fantastic. And I really can't wait to open it. I mean, wow, I'm excited. I hope you're excited, too. So, let's just get to it. Turn it back to the front. Open it up and get to it. All right, let's go. Woohoo! I really can't wait. I was happy. Happy, happy, happy. I got Wheeljack. I got Wheeljack. Yeah, I'm really that happy. All right. All right. Now, uh, for the Asia release, you get a uh, collector coin. And the collector coin this time for Wheeljack, really nice. And I love the Wheeljack colors on it. The Autobot symbol is like, which is really cool that they did that. I like the way they did it. It looks like a reflection, but it's just the colors that they did. Back is real simple. And, uh, yeah, you pull it apart, and there you go. Masterpiece Wheeljack. MP20 Wheeljack. And I really, they do a nice job on these, um, coins. And, yeah, I love the way they do it. I, know, I don't open them, but, uh, I love them. There's Autobot symbol. And, oddly enough, there's the, uh, Hasbro. So, even though you buy the Takara... Hasbro is the one providing the coins for uh, Asia. So right there. And uh, then we have right here. Masterpiece Wheeljack. The MP20. And I have to say I really do not like this picture. It is just way too static. And just. It doesn't look like. Wow look it's Wheeljack. It's just kind of like. Oh it's a robot standing there. Yeah, he doesn't deserve that. He deserves better than that. And then, of course, we have Wheeljack right there. The Japanesey on the back, the profile. And then, oh, my favorite, you know, right there, Robot Mode. And Lancia Stratus Turbo right there. Stratos. Oh, well, that's like a He-Man character. I always like Stratos. But, uh, yeah, so for the Techie Speckies, we've got... The strength of a 7, the intelligence of a 9, speed of a 7, endurance of a 5, rank of an 8, courage of a 9, fire blast of a 7, and the skill of a 10, which I always love, skills of 10. I like people who are skillful. So, uh, yeah, right there. Uh, oh, and I forgot, Cybertron Mechanical Engineer, maker of Dinobots, Wheeljack. And there is one more thing I just want to show real fast. And that is, it's an odd thing. 
he comes, if you see right here, these are the mirrors for the car. And you actually have to pop them out. It comes with two sets. And just like a Gundam model, you got to cut here, cut here, the middle part's garbage. But these two are for the, uh, for the mirrors. And, uh, yeah. And they go, they just pop in right here. So it's just an odd thing. It's never had to do that before. And I guess they're having a problem with uh, maybe when they put it in in production, they had a problem. So, uh, yeah, just something interesting for uh, Wheeljack. So, yeah. So let's go and look at car mode, even though he is obviously in robot mode there. All right, let's go. All right, and here we have Wheeljack in his vehicular mode, and this is spectacular. I mean, it really is amazing. I'm amazed that they could do this. Because, you know, this, the car has a lot of paneling in it. I mean, Wheeljack has a ton of paneling. And they kept, if you look at the top, all those stripes. I and mean, look how nice and clean that is. That is so hard. When you have something with so many breaks. Paneling here, here, in the middle here. Paneling, paneling down the center. Just all the paneling, and they got it all to work. It's amazing. I mean, it really is, and this looks so fantastic. And I appreciate all the hard work uh, Takara did on this. This is an amazing figure. Just, just the car mode I'm happy in. We ain't even got to the robot mode yet. But just beautiful job on it. And at the bottom... Um, his gun doubles as the um, exhaust pipe right there. So, yeah, you get that too. And one more little feature is, of course, like all the um, masterpieces, or most of them, it seems. I don't know if everyone. But right here, there's a little spot there that, you know, goes down and pops up for the, um, for the gun to go in. So you could go take his gun. And if you like, you could put it on top. You know, if that's what you want to do with Wheeljack. But, uh, yeah. And then, of course, we have his buddy facing the wrong way. Just Tiger Tracks, just for size. And, you know, if you know Masterpieces, they're all to scale. So, just really fantastic. I love it. Let's get him into his robot mode. All right, let's go. woo -hoo. All right, so let's get Wheeljack into his robot mode. And uh, first thing we're going to do is just take off uh, the gun. And uh, next we're going to go and open up the feet. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to rotate and pop this part off. So just kind of wiggle it a little bit. It'll come right, right off. So again, get the door off. And then if you just wiggle, there's the leg. And pull down. Pull down, you get the leg out. Once you get the legs out, what you're going to do is you're going to take and accordion it this way. Just like that. That's pretty easy. Right there. Now one thing to watch out for is watch out for the mirrors when you um, try to grab things to get pressure. Because um, I would think because they did them separately that uh, they can break easily. So I would watch out for that. So like when you're doing this, just flips around. Let me show you what I did. Um, you straighten out the foot. So first you gotta kinda get the foot nice and straight. And then this part here, okay, which is this part, this green piece, you're gonna rotate it and then it's gonna tab in at the bottom there like that. Okay, once you do that, you've got the door. The door part flips down. Okay, then you're going to take this piece here, flip it out, rotate it, and there is a, a hole right there, and there's the tab, and it just tabs in like that. And you just do the same thing, flip it down, this piece comes out, rotate, and tab right there, like that. Alright, now once we have that, we go here to the top, and you just push and this will separate, you know, the way, the chest part from the arms. And we're just going to take this piece here, and you want to pull up, 
and kind of just to move it out of the way and come down here and okay here this piece here is going to come off but it's tabbed in to the wings and the wings are translucent so be careful with that that's all you know that's just something to be careful of. once you do that we're going to go and just rotate downward the arms you know, rotate downward the arms and we're going to do that and then we're going to rotate forward the wings so you just push the wings forward as you move these down so like this now we're going to come to the front and open it up and push out the head like this okay wait move that a little bit so the head is going to come here flip out the head like this now the tricky part of there is a tricky part and it's real hard to see all right okay let me try from here okay now here there's a joint there's a double joint on them one here and one there it needs to be even if this part because this part can tilt down if it tilts down it's going to throw off the transformation of the figure Okay, this piece here that was uh, tabbed in goes up and it's going to go into the chest. Okay, you have to make sure, and right now it's at a little bit of an angle, so it's not going to be right. All right, now the arms, which are here, we're going to go flip out the arms here, arms here, and then this is just going to come in here and it's just going to go into the chest. Okay, so you're just kind of pushing it in here and here, like this, that's the chest. Okay, this back part here gets tabbed in right here like this. So this part gets tabbed here. This is the chest. Everything's good. Now we're going to just do the hands. So the hands are real easy. Come here, here's an elbow. And you're going to just rotate, this piece just rotates like this, and then the hand rotates. And we can rotate this top piece just like that. And then all you're going to do, go like this, rotate it around, and the hand, fist is going to be upside down, rotate that there. And you've got it. So once again, so this here, now we're going to go here, get the el this elbow piece here flip this piece here. Well, it's not really an elbow, but it's like an elbow to me. Rotate to the front and then just rotate the fist and there you have Wheeljack and his robot mode and of course even out the wings and there you go, that's Wheeljack and he is awesome. So, uh, yep, there he is. So let's get to the close-up view, and first thing, I'm going to get a screwdriver. Goes back here. Screw back here. I'm going to take out the uh, screw back there to show you the hidden face of Wheeljack. All right, let's go. All right, now I did want to just focus on the face and, yeah, the hidden face of uh, Wheeljack. And, uh, yeah, he's got a mustache like my good friend Foo. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome that they put that under there. I do wish the mask could come off without removing the head. Because you do have to remove that uh, face part, you know, the head part. That's why there's a big hole there. But uh, yeah, I do think it's cool and just wanted to show a nice close-up uh, view of it. So uh, yeah, let's go on. Alright, and this is with his mask on. And man, is it fantastic. I mean, I... You already know, I love this figure. I love Wheeljack. He's my favorite. Or one of... No, I can't say favorite. I and mean, it's like with G1 characters, they're basically all my favorites. Except for Bumblebee. I never really, really liked him. But but Wheeljack is one of my favorites. You know, And he's the top, definitely top five. Of all, you know, the Transformers. And I never owned the G1. And I always wanted to. But man, does it look fantastic. I mean, I love they use a nice translucent uh, 
translucent for the wings back here. I mean, just the paint job they did on them. Really nice red, the deep green. And he just looks fantastic. The only thing you could say is bad about it would be that, yeah, if you see there, a lot of details you can't see because, you know, the, the, uh, it's all white, so you, the details get washed. So if you see on the arm, yeah, there you can see a little bit. They do have some details here and there throughout on the white, but you really, sometimes on the camera it gets washed out. But it is fantastic. I mean, really, I love this figure. I just love the way that he looks at pretty much everything about him. And if we back up, you know, we see the shoulder cannon on him. He's got his gun. And he's got the, uh, I don't know, the disruptor for the uh, Hypno Chip. Yeah. I think it was the Ultimate Doom, and he had to use it to save sp uh, Spark Plug. Yeah. Because he was under the control of the Decepticons. Yeah, but really, I mean, just a look at him all the way around. I mean, I just want to do a quick 360 on him, and then we'll take a look at the little areas but really just fantastic especially from the back I love the look from the back I and mean, it looks amazing and he just has the right proportions for for the uh, G1 cartoon version he just fits it I and mean, this is spot on what I want and I gotta say you know, back in the day, this is what I saw. My friend had Wheeljack. I didn't have my friend did, but when I saw the Wheeljack, even though he, he had those big ape arms and, like, his feet always, you know, were just so small, this is what I saw. You know, this is what I saw when I played with him, and I, I really just love this. And this is really great, and I'm so glad they did this. Now... I'm going to have one detraction for it. And this is right here on this shoulder. And uh, it's the shoulder cannon, which looks fantastic. And it's nice metallic -y paint and lots of details. And uh, this piece here moves up and down so you can get an angle on it. And it comes with a missile, but the missile... Hold on, let me show the back real fast. So it's like all the way around, they got a lot of details on it. Top. All right, the bottom, simple. But the missile comes out and it's real tight. And it's really tightly in there. And the missile has a groove in it. You can see that, I hope. Yeah, the missile has a groove. And inside there's two grooves. But what I worry about is it's going to scrape, you know, off the missile. So that would be my only complaint because when I put it in, I really feel worried that it's going to scrape up. So I'm not, I'm not going to be putting it in, taking it out, only for the review. Pretty much it's going to sit on the shelf in robot mode like this and on his shoulder. Um, for the gun, the gun is a very, very cool little pistol. Really nice details on it. And, uh, yeah, we open up his hand. Of course, just like all of them, he has that little bit where it slots in. But this, they moved it real close. I'll show you in a second once I get it out. Yeah. On the palm, it's like flush up against it, and that's where the groove is. And so this really goes in there tight. And on some of the other ones, like um, Tiger Track, you know, it's sometimes loose because this piece is more in the middle of the palm. So when you put it in, it uh, moves around. But Wheeljack, nice and tight. And the last one, you're supposed to get it with, I think, Amazon. But I got mine from a Taiwanese shop, and uh, yeah, it came with it anyway. But right here, and it just comes in a little baggy. Yeah, and this is from the Ultimate Doom. And it it's like Wheeljack's lunchbox. You know, it's it's really just a nice little thing. You know, not like wow, greatest thing ever, but it is very cool that they would include it and that somebody actually designed it and made it. 
So, fantastic. I'm happy with it all the way around. So, yeah. So, let's just go and get to the figure and the articulation of it. So, Wheeljack, for articulation, his head goes around 360. And instead of a ball joint, if you look at his neck, there's a little um, pin. And that allows it to rotate upward. So he doesn't have a ball joint. But he does have, right there, you know, you can see. He does have it where his head can go all the way up. Now down, just, yeah, a little, ever so slightly down. I and mean, that's basically it. But he can look up and around. So for the head, that's it. Now for the arms... He's got, you know, shoulders go out and turn around 360. And of course, go all the way up. Um, beneath the shoulder, right here, he's got 360. He's got regular 90 degree elbow. And he's got 360 spin on his uh, hand. Actually, wait, maybe not. It gets caught. I'm sorry. I is wrong. Yeah. Oh, no, you can go. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. You just have to move this piece. Um, for the waist articulation, right here, 360. No ab crunch or anything like that. Um, for the legs, he can go out, but he gets blocked right here. You know, and for going forward, he can go all the way that way. And back. Back, he's hitting into the air Italia, but if you just move it a little bit. Yeah, you can go 90 right there. So he's got spin right here 360 the knee is 90 degrees and he has tilt on the foot so yeah so he's pretty fantastic right there I mean I love 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 this guy it's just awesome so yep there he is Wheeljack so let's get to the summation oh gee I wonder what do I think of Wheeljack well let's find out I wonder what he tastes like. Alright, time for the summation. And oh man, oh man, have I been waiting for this. I mean, I gotta say, I just love Wheeljack. I mean, this is just easy. If you're a G1 fan, you love Wheeljack. And so this figure is just fantastic. I mean, really? What complaints could there be? The only one would be the missile. That's all I can think of. But everything else is just, wow, it's awesome. I, and I really loves it. And I loves all the extra stuff he come with. You know, just little details are fantastic. There are some things to look out for. Look out for the mirrors. Because obviously they're not, they're fragile. Yeah. They're not strong. So watch out for the mirrors. But they gave you a replacement set just in case. But it does look fantastic. And it just is awesome that, man, I got Streak. I got the super awesome uh, G2 Sideswipe. Oh, man, I love that figure. And then to add to it, boom, a Wheeljack. Oh, man, oh, man. I is happy. So let's just cut to the chase. Is he nice? Yes. Is he shiny? Oh, man, is he ever so shiny. And is he good? Well, let me just think about it. Is Wheeljack good? Well, well let's think. What did he do? Well, he made the Dinobots. Yeah. Is that good? And the real Dinobots, you know. The really for reals ones. So, yes, he is good. So, that leaves. <laughs> Oh, man. Wheeljack tastes so, so good. Mm. Kind of a little bit like Monterey Jack uh, cheese. Mmm. Good thing I like cheese. Oh, man. So nice, shiny, and good toy. Good toy. Um, 